So I had to go through and actually do quite a bit of prep work, um, but the better the prep work, the better the ending result. So it will be worth it, trust me. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be painting these laminate countertops with a granite countertop paint to make them look sort of like granite. I'm sure it's not going to look exactly like it, but the point is it will be better than what we have now. So let's get started. So some things you're going to need for this are painter's tape, brown paper. Um, I went to just a local home improvement store and got a uh, really, really fine sandpaper. This is a 400 grit and a uh, scoring stick. So basically what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go through on the countertop and make sure that all the, the dirt, the grime that's like stuck in that maybe I can't even see is just removed to give a really great surface for the countertop paint to stick to. For the scoring stick, it says that um, all you need is water. So I have a dish of water here and it looks like this. It's just like a pumice stone looking thing. I'm going to remove this outer plastic. I've never used this before either, so I'll be learning right along with you guys. Okay, so it says to wet the stick first, then to rub this on the surface. So it has sort of a paste-like substance once it gets wet. It's still very, very gritty, but it's definitely getting things off the countertop. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think this will work really, really well. And I'm fond of this because there's no chemicals um, or cleaners at all. You're just basically using, um, this thing is giving you some powerful elbow grease, basically. So, I really like it so far. First, I remove any gritty residue using a clean, wet cloth. Then it's time to apply the black base coat. I start by painting around the edges and then fill in the gaps. Then I do the same thing with the countertops in the bedroom area. I let this dry for a full day before moving on to the next step. This sponge came with the kit. I'll be sponging on three different colors so I cut the sponge into three pieces. Open each color and practice my sponging pattern on a piece of black construction paper that came in the kit. Looks good to me! I found you sort of get into a groove when applying the different colors. The more random it was, the better the result. The next day, when all of the paint was fully cured, I took sandpaper to it. You want to sand it down just enough that the surface feels smooth to the touch. One word of caution, be really careful sanding the edges. I sanded it too hard and actually took some of the paint off. When it all felt nice and smooth, I took a damp rag to remove the dust from the surface. Now we're ready for the final step, the clear top coat.
Yay, we're done. We could not be happier with how it turned out. And we're still amazed that this is paint. <laughs>